Hello there, Lazulians, and welcome to Lapis Chat. So, for those of you who don't know, and well, more more than likely won't know because this is the first episode. Right. <laughs> uh, what what me and Sparky have decided is that uh, maybe maybe like once a week or so, we're we're gonna like have we're gonna make make a little podcast. We're gonna have like little discussions and stuff about like recent events, games, etc. Like having a look back at like pasts and stuff. Or not not our past, like pasts in gaming and yeah. stuff. Like uh like our favourite games back in like God knows when. Yeah. So basically we're just gonna talk about uh, multi genre. We'll talk about uh, multi genre things. things. We won't right. just we won't just talk about games, we'll talk about yeah. stuff like uh, stuff that's been on te telly. Uh, stuff. We can talk about movies, music, etc. Yeah, yeah it's stuff like that. that. Like uh at, like at, well, at the moment, me and Sparky are having a well, we're just having a little buzz around uh, around Star Maid, which is a, a game we've made a few videos about already. And um, a good game. yeah, like uh, it recently had a few updates. I I personally can't really see what it is they've updated apart from the graphics. Uh, it's mostly bug fixes. That's what I found out anyway. Uh, so nothing too new or anything. Mm, uh, so. It, it's 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 a good game, but uh, it, it it could be improved. Like there's yeah. there's there's like loads of ways it could be improved. Like stuff like like just like putting very basic NPCs. Yeah, we stuff can like see that. a lot of improvements happening. Like yeah, well, like we can see uh like we can see stuff like oh the pirate ships they're exactly the same design or stuff like that. Could, that could even something really simple like make different variations of the pirate ships. Instead of it all being the exact same ship, it's it's it's, I mean, it's not it's not like it's not like in Star Wars where every single enemy ship was a Tie Fighter or something like that. <laughs> but yeah. every single one, like, do you, do you reckon like, but like in Star Wars, it was like a uh, there was like just like 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 I have a person who is it who kept making all of the Tie Fighters? Ah. Uh... It never says anything like in the movies, does it? No. Unless it's saying, unless it's something like there's like just one guy, Santa Fe, who's constantly pushing the con the copy and paste button yeah. on like in like the they've... factory computer, telling it to like make millions and millions of the exact same ship. Well, since uh, animation back in the day wasn't too great, I'm fairly certain they had to use little models for all that. So it was true. It's more the fact that. Even for like, I think the o or to my knowledge, back when the original Star Wars came out, the only one who had a different ship was uh, was Darth Vader. Yeah. In episode four, even though that made it kind of painfully obvious which one was him. Yeah, pretty much. It's like instead of giving everyone the same sort of design design ship, instead they made it say, right, we got all the Tie Fighters here, and. uh we got all the t all the Tie Fighters. Which one's Vader in? Well, kind of obvious if you look. He's in like he's in that one with the different wings. Yeah, I mean they did have no one else because no one else thought to make a different friggin. I mean they did have uh, like bombers, like apart from the X wings. Uh, X wings. X, 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 X wings. What tie? <laughs> yeah, what? X wings were on the Empire side. Yeah, uh, the X the X wings. What? Which yeah. Uh, when it came to games like Battlefront, uh, which is a good game. Yeah, Battlefront's a good game. Uh, are you, you, are you looking forward to uh, Battle Battlefront 3? I am looking forward to it, and I want to play it. Yeah, like, uh, I'm... I personally, n not that not that big of a Star Wars fan to get Battlefront 3. I had a go at Battlefront 2. I... Uh, I I I liked it, but I I, per, I personally thought it was just a it was just a meh game. But whenever yeah. I play whenever I play Battlefront, I would literally just run around. Cause cause uh, one thing I couldn't understand it, the Battlefront I I cause I I had it on uh I had it on PS2. Ah. Oh. And uh, back then, then even on the PS2, it had like uh online gaming. 
Which is weird because the yeah, PS2 could because the PS2 could never connect to anything yeah. online ever. Yeah, back then I never really uh, played online. Yeah, I mean, me, afford it, uh, so. me neither. Well, I think the only thing really online that I played back there was stuff like uh, stuff like RuneScape. Hmm. Yeah, so uh, ages, ages uh, ago. PC games. Right. Yeah, mainly PC. Like back then, PC games were the uh, they were the main thing that could be played online. Yeah. And uh, well, the, uh, yeah, but yeah, going back to my going back to my point above about uh, Battlefront. Whenever whenever I played Battlefront, I literally just ran around the map until uh, until it just said. You are being chosen to be a Jedi. I was like, oh yeah, now the game's getting interesting. So I'd literally just run around slicing anything that moved with a lightsaber. Yeah, I love that. I, it, didn't, it didn't matter whether I was, whether I was Sith, whether I was a rebel. Anything, the second I got that lightsaber, anything, everything was dead. Yeah. I would just Don't go, I, just, I, I, just, I would just go berserk and just like run around like cutting like trees and stuff like that up. Like, for no reason other than for my own enjoyment. Yeah. The only problem I had with that, though, is... Uh, considering it was like a timer, though, like, where you had to control the Jedi before the timer went out, plus if you got hit by the enemies, it would also uh, decrease the timer even more. Uh, I always hated that, because it didn't really have too long, especially during the missions. Oh, there's some pirates nearby. Uh, is there? Yeah, I, yeah. Know, I know it had something about hostile sound, but I didn't see anything. Yeah. No, it's, it's not like we can't beat them up. Yeah, we can take it. Especially since it's like coming from that direction. But, um, yeah, as far as, uh, like, think, think back, like, um, like, ten years, or ten, like, ten, five or ten years, back when, like, the, the best, uh, game, the best game console you could get back then was, uh, like the PlayStation One, yeah, right like that. What was your favorite game then? All co all consoles. What was your favorite game? Uh, it would have to be uh, Fur Fighters. That was the actual first uh, first person shooter I ever played. Well, I wouldn't say first person shooter because it was more or less third. A, a game but called it was First game. Fighters. It was... It's gonna it's gonna be a shooting game. Yeah. First like, for me, the best. I think the guy who ever like made that game thought, right? See this, see this game. I've called it First Fighters. <laughs> I've got, I've got. It's a, it's a first-person shooter. I've got this other one. It's called, it's called Bang Bang Shoot 'em Ups. <laughs> but it's a, it's a side scroller. And it's just, it's like, who, who would, who would have been like the, the gaming executive who would be like, yeah. brilliant. Give that man an office and monies to make that thing. <laughs> yeah. but, um, that game went on for hours, though. Yeah, of like, course, uh, I never got to got to complete the back, game, uh, but it was still fun. Uh, like, uh, for me, back back then in the in the, in the yesteryears, it would ha it would actually have to be the original Pokemon games. And I was never really too big of a fan for Pokemon, sadly. Yeah, it's, I, 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 I've got a very fond memory of like, uh, I'm trying to remember whether it was my, what, I'm trying to remember what, when exactly Pokemon first came out, I think it was like 1990, like 1996 or something. Yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, yeah, really I, can, I can't really remember, I can't really remember, was, I think 1994, it was either 1994 or 1998. No, it wasn't 94. It was either 96 or 98. I, the thing, I, I can't be bothered to remember right now. And, um, we've got a fun memory of, like, me, really young. And, uh, the first, well, really the first Christmas that I can remember. And, uh, just sat, sat, in, a, sat, in, sat in my house. My mum and dad sat on the couch, watching telly. And, uh, my nan came in. And she was, she was like, she had a box. I was like, oh, what's, what's that? Well, uh, uh, you know, like as you would when you're really young. Yeah. Curiosity. Well, it wouldn't be like, oh, it's like present, 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 and dancing around the room, something like that. <laughs> and uh, when, we, when my parents saw me now, and it, they turned the telly off, looked, they looked at each other with like that knowing look that most parents would have when, uh, yeah, when they know exactly 
what's gonna what's happen what's gonna happen. And uh well, and she also she also had like a a big poster as well, and uh, it was like she sat she sat me down because I was really I was really small then, you know like like most four year olds or so we are are. Uh, like she sat she sat me down. She's like now now I've got I've got you this I've got you this present. Now if you promise to take really good care of it, of it, I'll give you a bit, an extra surprise as well. So I was like. More presents? Go. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it, she. <laughs> the, she, gave me, she gave me the little box. She gave me the box. Well, it wasn't really little for me. It was Back then, it would have been small for her. But it, was, it wasn't really small for me. I opened it up. It was, um... It was a, uh... One of, the, one of those very... Cl- one of those classic, like, big, blocky Game Boy colours. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I remember, I remember once those. on like a on like a ferry trip to Northern Ireland, oh, just right. like back and forth from North, Northern Ireland or something like that. Because uh, my, my my dad was in the army, so he, we we moved around a lot when I was younger. Oh. Uh, I, I, like uh, I, I I distinctly I distinctly remember that this one ferry trip, even though I was only like I was, I was like a toddler or something yeah. like that. But I distinctly remember this one ferry trip because. Uh, this one woman on the train, on, on not why did I say train, on the on the ferry, like one of those like attendants who would go around and like make sure all the like young kids and that are happy and stuff, like in the kids area. Uh-huh. I think you remember her uh, coming around, and she gave me something to keep me occupied. You know, like most m- like most people do, just give yeah. a kid like something that goes beep, just to keep them occupied for like an hour. And uh, I just I distinctly remember it was. Uh, it was one of the very, very first Game Boys, back when it was all like green and black screen. Uh, uh, if I remember correctly, the game was uh, Super Mario Land or something. I used like, to play really, it uh, like, the, like, I think it, it was like one of the very first Mario games or something. Yeah. But um, yeah, yeah. Back, back to the, back to the. Sorry about the Game Boy Color. Uh, you get. I looked. I, was, I, I thanked her for the thing. And she pulled out two very small, different coloured boxes, and she was like, "Like now, you can have one of these. You, you like, you're supposed to have one of these, but I couldn't really figure out which one you'd like more. So if you promise me to be a really good boy, you can have both of them." I was like, "Okay." It turned out that uh, she'd gotten me both the classic game, the classic Game Boy Color. I, I got a lime green one. Like then. And uh, it turned out that uh, she got me the, the Game Boy, and uh, but well, it was rel- it was a relatively brand new game back then, wasn't it? Yeah. Because it, it's like very first come out. It was a uh, both Pokemon Red and Blue. Like back then, back then, like kids were lucky if they got either, if they got one of them. I was given two, and uh, <laughs> I just don't remember. She also gave. She also had a a massive, big, great big uh, A3 poster, had all the Pokemon names on it from back then. God, she must have been a big fan. No, she she had no idea what the hell this stuff was. She still doesn't now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think it's more about that. I think they gave it away when she bought both uh, things, both like, as a promotional thing. And I've got a very clear memory of of like my mum, my mum and my nan like, giggling to themselves. As small, like little four-year-old me, pointed to each per- each one and tried to say the name. Ah, I couldn't really talk back then, so but. Oh. Anyway, but yeah, but yeah. Have you got any uh, any charming anecdotes from your from the younger years of Sparky? Uh, I have a few. <laughs> Well, it's not, it's not like it's not like it's not like you don't have the opportunity to share them with us. I know, I know, I know. But I've already shared mine. You better share yours. I will, I will, I will. I'm just uh, <laughs> remembering because it's been a while. Uh, but yeah, I used to have a Game Boy back then. I used to play a lot of Crash Bandicoot on it. Oh so, yeah, the classic honest, Crash Bandicoot. It was the it's... only game that actually kept me occupied for all those years. <laughs> it was a, it was an awesome game. Uh, I can't remember what it's called though, but I always uh, got stuck on one of the boss fights. It was the one with uh, that weird uh, alien type guy. 
I, I forget the name of the game. Like, Neo Cortex or something like that? Uh, something like that. Um, I, I remember some of the names from Crash Bandicoot. There was, like, there was Neo Cortex, the big guy with the, like, the yellow skin and the massive head. Yeah. Who looked like he had water on the brain or something like that. Yeah. It looked like he was one of those people you, you, that you'd, you'd find like in Lidl, l licking the trolley or something like that. <laughs> User joined your channel. Uh, oh, hello. We've got a visitor. Who is yeah. this? It's Lewis. Oh, hey, Lewis. Welcome yeah, to... Lewis, if you, didn't, if you didn't know, you've just stumbled across uh, me and Sparky, well, in the middle of recording a episode one of a... Uh, of the Lapis Chat, which is I a little, little podcast that we're going to do. You can, you... you can, you can unmute your mic and talk to us, talk and join in if you want. We're just like discussing like, uh, like, what, like, uh, like fond memories of like old gaming, like, uh, like, the, like the very first Pokemon games and stuff like that. I know. <laughs> Right, uh, Sparky was in the well. Sparky was in the just starting a wonderful anecdote about uh, about Crash Bandicoot or something like that. Hi. That's what I'm doing now. Louis. Yeah, yeah. You so continue the continue the yeah. anecdote. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. Well, anyway, apart from the Game Boy, uh, which I didn't really play too many games on the Game Boy. It was uh, it was mostly just Crash Bandicoot, but uh, I did play. Wait, wasn't, wasn't Crash Bandicoot on like the PlayStation or something like that? Yeah, I played. A... But I, I think if I remember correctly, my first memories of Crash Bandicoot, and well, my only memories of Crash Bandicoot really, back in those years, was uh, I think it was Crash Band Crash Two on the PlayStation. I can't, mm. I can't fully remember it. I was really young. I didn't really have that much interest in it. Yeah. I just played it for the entertainment, like anybody else would do. Hmm. Like, uh, I remember there was one, uh, there was one old PlayStation game that I would have nightmares about. <laughs> oh, God. What was that? Uh, what was it, what was it called? Some Odd World or something like that? Oh, was it Abe's Odyssey? I think it was, yeah. Oh, that game, that game was awesome. I think it was just like the imagery then when I was really young. Well, it looked then. awesome, but unfortunately, I had well, it, it, never well, it, it terrified me when I was look, when I was young because I was like, "What is, what is this? <laughs> it's scary! Go away!" Yeah, Abe did look kind of scary. In that. Mm. My brother played it a lot like then. That's why I couldn't really play it because I was too young, sadly. But uh, yeah, I get <laughs> like one one mem one thing that I also remember from uh, from my days back in Northern Ireland was uh, that there was like uh, once a week or something because I used to live on an army base. There would be oh. like a, a little youth club for the really young kids or something. Oh. like uh, I remember it was like a really really small like. Little disco area that like put very like small flashing lights on, and they'd constantly be playing music or something. Yeah. There's always like that one kid in there who's always dancing. <laughs> but you don't. You didn't even know what he, he wasn't even dancing to the music of that song. He was just dancing. <laughs> and it wasn't. It wasn't really dancing. It was like that. That dancing you sort of do when you really when you're like a little kid, just like jumping up and down and waving around or something like that. And uh, I've got t I've got two very distinct memories from that time. Uh, one of them was uh, I think the day before I left Northern Ireland. The uh, the owners of this place thought, right, screw it, we're gonna get all the kids into a room. We got all the kids into one, like one of the little side rooms. Pop the pop the telly on, and uh, it was one of the it was one of the old episodes of the Pokemon cartoon. Ah. Uh. Like the re like that that when it just when it first started, like years ago, yeah, back, back when it was actually good. Uh, uh yeah, yeah. And another one was that uh, for some reason it's like it's like the middle of winter or something like that. 
the uh, the youth place decided right we're gonna sell uh, we're gonna sell ice pops it, it wasn't really ice pops like you know those um was like really really cheapy like drink carton things you can get from like from, like corner shops and stuff uh was it the do you mean like the plastic ones where yeah yeah the, you the, plas had to the plastic twist ones off the lid? Had... Uh, the plastic ones where you had to poke a, where you got like a very small oh, straw and you had to poke ones. a hole through them. Poke a straw inside. Yeah, then. Oh, and, uh, I that. Yeah, and uh, I, 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 I can still remember this now. Uh, they gave they because it, it was not it was the middle of winter, and they decided right, what's the best things for these kids in winter? Right, let's give them ice cream. <laughs> but it, it wasn't really. Ice really. Cream. What they'd done is literally they'd gotten like a few of those drink carton things. And popped them in the freezer for like an hour or so, so they were so they were frozen solid. And uh, I remember the one time that I had one, and uh, my t my tongue got stuck. Oh. So uh, everyone else was all running around playing, and I, I was behind the bar near the taps with the uh, one of the one of the helpers trying to put warm water so that my tongue would defrost. Oh dear. That got to the point. I was really young, so I had no idea. I, I was like, I was really, I was really small, so I had no idea what the hell was going on. So like, I was crying and stuff. Like, I mean, what were of... they thinking back then? Jesus. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, what were they thinking? <laughs> I don't know, but it was like, it's like, it was re I was, it's like, I was, I was crying, thinking that it was going to be stuck to my tongue forever. Yeah. Or my, or my tongue was going to get ripped off. You know, like, 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 like a small doing. child thinking. Yeah. And uh, so I was crying. I had to get my dad, which was because we actually, well, we actually lived like because um, it, it was a really, really small, uh, small military base. From what I remember, and uh, if I, it was, it was like a. Uh, in reality, it would have been like a. A three-minute walk or something from my house. So, in back, what year was all this in? I think it was like back in nineteen ninety-seven, six or something. Ah, huh. if it was in nineteen ninety-six, I'd have been when I was born. Huh. Uh, oh. Well. Yeah, it was like back in the back in the toddler days, like the back the the uh, the crash days or something like that. Yeah. Like a, it was like it was like a three-minute walk. Honestly, from my house to the club, if for some reason every single time my dad had like strapped me to the back of a the back of his of his of his sight of his sight of his like cycling bike, like not a motorbike, like one of those uh, pro proper bikes, not not so, not uh. So basically, like a bicycle. Yeah, a bicycle is what I meant. That like he had the he had the the seat. Like on the back of it for like the really oh, young yeah. kids, which was weird because he never really took it out. It just seemed it seemed that uh, he only really took it out just to like drop me three minutes from the house. Ah. And, uh, I remember like for some reason I would always fall asleep. Even though it was like a three minute pedaling, it was like a, a two minute pedaling journey. Oh. And I would always fall asleep. I've no idea why. So, like, have you, have you, even even now, have you, have you ever had this happen to you, right? Where you just sat on the bus or something, like, you're not, you're not tired at all, but you, you just feel your eyes going. Like, oh, you, like really... have, you, have you ever like just randomly fallen asleep on the bus? No, I haven't really randomly fallen asleep. I remember falling asleep a lot from uh, days out at Blackpool with me family, <sighs> which were good days. It's like I mean, like um, like e like even like even in today's times, it's just for no reason. I'd, I'd just be sat on the bus, and uh, I just I just I'd find myself getting bored. And I find myself like dropping off a bit. Like I remember the first time I went on the buses on uh, here on my own. It, it, 
here because uh, uh, I used to only really come here on the holidays, on like the whole the school holidays and stuff like that. Oh. So, uh, and most of the time, my parents would be well, all the times my parents would be with me. So they would like drop me off in town. I would like like whenever they weren't shopping, I'd go with them and stuff like that. So I'd never really been exposed to uh, to public transport on my own. Yeah. And uh, I remember the very first time I got on the bus, I was I, I would have been like 17 or 18 or something like that. I can't, I can't fully remember. And uh, I remember feeling pretty jet-lagged still from the journey because it was like two days after I'd landed in in England to, to live right. here. So how many times have you been on a plane like from then? To now, hmm? like how many times you've been on a plane? Like from, from from when? Like from those times to now, basically. What what do you, what do you mean from those times? Like, like you say you were living in Northern Ireland. Yeah. Uh, so you said you. So did you take a plane? <laughs> uh, well. I know it's at least above 20. Because uh, I've lived in... F well, growing up, I lived in f four different countries. Cause my dad got posted a lot because of the British forces and stuff. So I lived in, I've lived in... Uh, I've lived in Belize, which is like, a North, that's like Central America and something like that. It's like near Mexico. Uh... I've lived in Germany. Well, I've lived. I've lived in Germany twice, both in different parts of Germany. For, for no reason, for, I, I can't really remember why. I think it was because my dad. Uh, my dad used to be posted there, which kind of which I always found which I always found weird because my dad's full English. Yeah, yeah. He can speak perfect German. Hmm. But he's full English. My nan's English. I, th I think my granddad was English. I don't know. I never really met him. But, uh. Yeah, the full English. My dad can speak German fluently. I mean, even Lactic's German and he can speak English <laughs> fluently. So. No, but no, no, I mean, as in the fact that, uh. He, he even had the. He even had the German ac He even had the German accent when he was speaking German. I, th I think so. So you know, you know, like some people when they yeah. like speak different languages, they still have like British accents or something like that. Yeah, I understand all that. It's like even when, like, even when like speaking French, you'd be like, um, like something, something like, uh, I, I, I don't actually know in French. Bonjour, bonjour. It's like you know how the French go, ah, right, bonjour, or something like that. Yeah. Would you go bonjour or something like that? Yes, yeah, something like that. But, um, it's, it's, it's also the fact that I lived in. I've lived in. Oh, in total, back in prim, back in primary school years, I lived in Germany for about. Uh, lived in Germany for about five or six years. Oh no! I lived, in Ge I lived in Germany originally for three years, then moved to Belize for four, then moved to Cyprus until I was. But yeah, moved lived in Cyprus until I was fourteen, I think. Then moved to Germany again. You've done a lot of traveling. <laughs> Well, that's not even counting like holidays and stuff. Yeah, but still, it's like almost halfway around the world. Pretty mm. amazing. It's like into, it's like I've been, I've been to places like I've been to, I've been to America itself. I've been, to, I've been to, I've been to Greece. I went to Egypt at one point. Because uh, back in, back in, uh, back in Cyprus, it was like really close to like Greece and Turkey and stuff. Yeah. So, so Egypt was like literally an hour flight away. Like one of the months where my dad had uh, had like leave, I didn't have any school, so like that. my dad just literally went, right, he wants to go to Egypt for a week. 
So I, 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 I honestly, I really didn't care at that point. So yeah, you so, I, really... I, so I just went. Okay. As a kid, you don't really uh, give a crap about the world. Yeah, I was, I was about, I think it was, I was like twelve or something. The first time I went, no, it wasn't. Yeah, I was about twelve. The first time I went to Egypt. Amazing. Happings and stuff. The which for me, which uh, I found it odd. And I um, really, to be honest, I, I never really did too much traveling, like as far as you have, because. Mm. To be honest, but, 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 my family also, couldn't really afford it. Also, one thing that I found that I've well, something that I've, that I've, that I've okay. Okay, I see you, Lewis. I was by GG. What? I am confused. Oh, you said GG, not got, not got to go. Well, I automatically no. assumed. Uh, yeah, I mean. So uh, what are you saying, GG? Then? Oh, that. <laughs> oh, he, uh, I know, I know what he what. I've know what he's been watching. Yeah. <laughs> Um, no, I mean the fact. I think more the fact that, uh, like back back when I lived in Belize, it was like an hour's drive from uh, from Mexico. So my dad, like one week, well, it wasn't even for one week. He just decided for, like for the day, we'd all get in the car and we'd just drive up to Mexico, have a look around. Yeah. And, uh, as well, we, uh, well, I found weird, it, we lived in Belize, which was like, uh, like in Central America. Yeah. And stuff, so it was like near Mexico and stuff. We had, we could get, we could get American cable. Which I found completely weird. Mang what the fuck <laughs> What are you talking about, Lewis? Man get out. Well, it'd be more appreciated if you didn't use chat. Man managed to peas. You think people would be more interested if we talk about peas? <laughs> peas, fucking hell. If we talk, if we talked about rice and stuff. What are you talking? What are you talking? Yeah, I mean peas are great. What are you? What are you talking about? <laughs> that's just yeah. You. That's that's, you just, yeah, that's just a, that's just a huge podcast. About <laughs> yes, peas. you'd li you'd listen to a podcast about peas. <laughs> yes, that is exactly you, Lewis. Cast. Hmm. God. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, try, try, uh, give us something a bit more better for a topic instead of just about peas and greenery. Hmm. Like, look, look at what happened to the Simpsons. <laughs> Fucking hell. Hmm. <sighs> anyway. Uh, yeah, back to gaming because we got we got really sidetracked then. Yeah, into your own life. We got completely, completely sidetracked. From Crash Bandicoot to the past of your life. Yeah. Holy crap. It's amazing. Well, somehow, it, somehow we got from the original Game Boy to uh, like yeah. to like Belize and stuff like that. So let's. So did you? Uh, apart from the Game Boy, did you? What like other consoles did you have? Uh, well, because I was an only child, I I I did a, I did a fair bit of gaming back then. 
So uh, I had the Game Boy. Uh, I had a. Uh, I had a. Uh, I had my own computer, which I found weird because I was like, I was like, I was like six or seven years old. Wow, you're lucky. I never really got a computer till I was twelve. Uh. I never really did too much gaming back then. Because, yeah, I was, hmm, I did have a bit of a uh, problem with my mind, so, so I just mm. stuck to playing with toys, because that's all I ever had. It's fun times, though. My own mm. way. Well, what are you going to do when your family isn't... Well, I've got much to live with, to be honest. Hmm. Because primary school was tough. Uh, although looking back at it now would be tough because I'm glad that I didn't really have the attention of an awareness back then. Because that would have totally ruined me. But luckily, like every kid, you don't really have a care in the world, so you can just bypass it really easy. But to be honest, primary school life has been a lot better than high school. That's what I can say. Because mm. uh, high school sucked. I personally, I, I, well, I, I personally actually found uh, high school life a lot better than uh, than my primary school life. I didn't. <laughs> it was <laughs> like, like, it was like, uh, like for me, back in back in Belize, the the primary school was really small. I think it was like, including me, there was. Like, there's like 12 or 15 other pupils. I was bullied. Too much. So was I. Yeah. During the club, we had cookies and we... Well, we had cookies, but I've already eaten them. Yeah. I, um, <laughs> I remember a time when, uh, like in year one, or grade one if you're American, uh, but basically... This was back in primary school, and there was uh, one of each biscuits for each uh, kid on uh. each table, uh -huh. and I took two, <laughs> because I didn't even know that you could only take one, so one other kid was didn't have one, so, yeah. Good uh. information, teachers, good information. Mm. <sighs> oh, well, I didn't really give a shit. Huh. But yeah, there were many other times like that. Yeah, I'm, I mostly made a fool of myself, which was why I got bullied. I didn't know. I, my brain wasn't fully developed, so I didn't really give a shit. Mm. I had trouble listening, uh, including learning. So I didn't really learn too much from primary school until high school life. Mm. I, I, well, I, I didn't really learn much myself because like I was probably in my in my, like in the primary school I was probably one of the uh I was probably one of the old more older kids because mm. I think there was like four in like but like for the older kids I was I, I would have been like uh I'd have been like um I would I would have been about eight or nine at the time. Mm. Yeah, including me, there was four other kids my age. Oh wow! In the entire military base, there was only four kids my age, including me. So there wasn't really many of you in uh, that place. Uh, not really. So, was this military base typically a school for you? Or was it just, like, a place for kids to be? Um, oh, it was a... Because apart from being, like, uh, a club type thing. Hmm. Oh well. But mm. yeah. 
School sucks. And it always will. But to be honest, uh, I've had most fun in college. Better than any other uh, education or centre. Mm. College has been the nicest, the nicest education I've ever taken. Better than primary school or high school. Because I've actually managed to live a better and a new life. Rather than being the fucking uh, class clown. Mm. As I used to be. Mm. Which wasn't the best, to be honest. Because when I discovered about the things that I did, basically being an idiot, it definitely hit me hard in the head, and that's why I'm like this today. And it will always follow me, and there's nothing I can do about it, or anybody else. So, yeah. Memories. Fun. Especially when they go the way you want them to. <laughs> Which, yeah. Anyway, back to <laughs> consoles again. Uh... Apart from games or consoles, let's talk about mm, movies, maybe. Like, what was your favorite mu movie at the time? Uh, at the time, oh, ah, uh, fuck I, I didn't, I didn't really watch a lot of movies. I would, I'd have to say, uh, my favorite movie back then would be, would have to be, um, uh, it, it, I'm, I'm gonna say the first Harry Potter film when it first came out. That movie was awesome at, at the time. Because yeah, I was re I was really really young. Oh, I keep I keep saying I'm really, I was really young. Harry Potter was good. It's the last few bits of that movie definitely scared me. Because mm. considering Harry was only like. Uh, 10 or something? I think it was 11. Yeah. It certainly scared me how he, he could actually all do that at the age. Even though he's acting, but it's still... Yeah, because I could never do any of that. <laughs> Definitely. Like, fight off uh, an evil wizard trying to murder you. With mm. a parasite of your arch nemesis attached to the back of his head. Hmm. I'd, I'd be, I just wouldn't want to face him. But, uh, what do you know about Magic Lewis? Shut the fuck up. So, <laughs> but for those of you who well, haven't seen, I mean, we, we, we're also joined by uh, my friend Lewis, who, who for some reason decided that he won't talk. He'll just put things into our, into the into the chat. Basically to annoy us and... Basically to yeah. annoy us, so all you've been saying for the last five minutes and stuff like peas are great and uh, <laughs> and stuff like I like sending us pictures of Yogg's cast sips for some reason. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> it's Lewis. It's just Lewis. Uh. Anyway, he's, where's like, Trav he's, anyway, been he's, been yeah, he's been telling us to talk about like the new Doctor Who and stuff like... It's not your decision what we talk about, this is our this is our thing. Yeah, this is our pod, not yours. So be that bitch. But Yeah, Harry Potter. Amazing. Too bad it ended. It was a good franchise. It still is, don't get me wrong. Hmm. We're not gonna talk about fucking aubergines or whatever the fuck. <laughs> he he wants he wants to talk about m sort of like melons and kumquats and stuff like that. No, just just just, just no. No. Like uh, like uh, I think Sparky. No. Yep. Yeah. What I think in like in in the last five in the last five uh, not not five in the last two or three years. What is your favourite movie that's come out? Uh, two or three years. Ooh. Like in the like in the last two or three years, like from like two thousand eleven uh, to two thousand thirteen. What has been your favourite movie to come out so far? Oh God. What actually has came out during that time? Uh, uh, fine. I'll, I'll make it even shorter. What has come out in the last year that you've liked? 
Okay. But what what <laughs> what films have come out in 2013 that you've lo- that you like fell in love with? Thought were your favourite? Thought, thought in... Ratchet and Clank. I'm looking forward to that movie. That's come out already, you dipstick. Has it? Has it? No, I when? said movies that have come out already, you dipstick. No, I thought you meant like. No, I mean not things that are coming out. Things that have come out in the last oh, year. Oh, have. Come out. Okay then. Uh. Uh. Oh God. Mm. Oh. Oh fuck! What is it called? Oh God! I forgot what it's called. <laughs> Crap. What was it about? Too, Lewis. Anyway. What was it uh, about? I'm fairly certain it had zombies in it. I'm fairly certain. Paranorman? Paranorman? No, it it wasn't. No, not paranormal. World <laughs> paranormal. War Z. Uh, sorry. World War Z. Uh, to be honest, I've got a copy of that movie. Oh, oh, I know what film. I know what film. Uh, The Hobbit. The Hobbit didn't have zombies in it. No, uh, I was thinking of something else. The Hobbit. I changed my mind. Yeah. <laughs> the Hobbit was awesome, and I await the next one. Yeah, Definitely. for for me, it would have to be. Oh, for me, it would have to be a tie between the Avengers because I'm I'm I'm, I'm a big uh, Marvel and DC fan. Hmm. It'd have to be a tie between the Avengers. And uh, Wreck It Ralph. I still have to watch that movie. You you should you should. It's to. a very it's a very good movie, surprisingly. I want to, but I never get like, the chance. I know that most I know that most people would like turn their nose up at the film, but um, more <laughs> mainly non-gamers. No, that's the thing. The the film's done in a way that even non-gamers can get can understand the storyline and that. You know, even non gamers non gamers wouldn't get as many as the references, but uh Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. It looks like, good. Like um I know from oh, from what I read, like a month or so after it came out, they're already planning a sequel to it. Yeah, I kind of uh heard about that. Like rumors. Mm, yeah, and I think uh, if like I'm the next one's going to have Mario in it. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Like they, that, uh, I think they've already revealed that, that like the the plot of the yeah. next movie is going to involve Mario. So, do, you, do you think? Do you think they're going to? Do you think they're going to get the actual voice of Mario from Nintendo to come in and a voice him? Or do you think they're going to get like a different voice actor to come in and do it? They will probably get the same voice actor for Mario. Because yeah, I, cause I, I, I think the current voice actor for Mario, he's like, um, he's like seventy or eighty or something. I don't know. Yeah, but he's a very energetic person. Because I've seen uh, a review of him uh, on IGN, I think. And yeah, he's still, he's, he's got to be old. He's got to be old now. Yeah, but he's got quite a lot of energy in him. I'm not joking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <it's> the, <laughs> hmm. Not sure. I'm not, well, I'm not sure. But anyway, back back to back to yeah. talking about Wreck It Ralph. Wreck It. It's it's a it's a very good film. The story is easy to understand. The characters are quite the characters are likable. There's not mm. really, well, there's not really, from what I could tell, any any of the moments that the parents would go, oh, this is boring, something like that. It's actually yeah. got a pretty good heart-filled message into it if you look between the lines. Okay, it was even that good that after I watched it on the way home, I was thinking, I should do a review of the film. I should like, sit down and record my thoughts on it and stuff like that. But I, I didn't go through with it, mainly because of boredom. Well, may, well, maybe you can go through the v- review of it now, then. Like, for eh, this maybe, maybe later. Uh, when I say do a review, I mean like proper like, stuff like nostalgia oh, critic okay. stuff. Okay. Basically the kind of stuff that my friend Zaris does on that Vizzed site. Mm. Um, yeah, another one that I, uh, well, a movie that I recently watched that I actually quite liked, uh, Despicable Me 2. Oh, I've seen the first one. I saw the, the second one. one. Good. I saw the second one. They. I haven't actually seen the second one. It, um, mm, I would, I'd give it, 
a seven and a half out of ten. Okay. Because it's got a good it's got a good story. There are funny moments in it. They they semi gloss over some things, which I found a bit annoying. But overall, not a bad film. I'd check it out. Yeah. No, not a bad film. The the minions are hilarious as always. Yeah, you gotta love the minions. Mm. Why, why don't we have minions? I oh, know. Lewis, can you be our minion? Today? <laughs> do, we want, do we want Lewis as our minion? Okay. What could we make Lewis do? Oh, if it costs. Okay, then. He costs, though. If it he, costs, needs, he needs us to give him one aubergine a day. <laughs> we just. Brilliant. We we can give you a bag of peas each day. <laughs> You'd like that. Hmm. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh. Uh. I'm trying to think what other movies I've watched this year. Well, any year, to be honest. Mm, I f think I watched a pretty old movie. Mm -hmm. uh, it included zombies in it. I think this was the one that I was thinking of before. Which, to be honest, is pretty old. Uh, my internet's being weird. Okay. Hope it doesn't go out. Oh god. Uh but have you seen uh Nazi zombies? Nazi zombie. Yeah. Do you mean, what do you mean the uh What do you mean the Call of Duty game or No, as in uh na zom or zombie Nazis. Uh it's basically a movie set in Germany where these kids go out on a that's what it's called, Dead Snow. Alright. Thank you, Lewis. <laughs> Thank you, good minion. Uh, but yeah, it was a pretty fucking insane movie. Because uh, basically, typically these four German uh, university students go out uh, skiing. And they end up coming across an actual burial ground of, well, Nazi zombies. And the film is fucking weird. You have to watch it. It is crazy. It is mental, and you'll have a good laugh out of it. Just at how hilariously insane it is. Hmm. Oh, God. But, yeah. I... Don't know what year it was it was made. It seems pretty old. But. Yeah. <laughs> so we've gone over games for this segment. We've gone over a couple of movies. Uh, how about music? Maybe. Like say. What kind of music do you listen to? Uh, <laughs> uh anything that fancy really. Okay. So what kind of genre would that be? No Lewis, no. Just uh, no Lewis, not now is not the time for smooth jazz. We can we can add jingles in in the next one. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're just starting out, so uh, no. slow down there. <laughs> Hold your horse. So, any bands in particular or genre, like rock or hip hop, jazz? I really just listen to anything that I fancy. Okay, so a mixed genre. Oh, I'll, yeah, I listen to most things, apart from 
I I I I don't really listen to dubstep. I don't I don't listen to it at all. I listen to some, not every single fucking dubstep out there. Just the ones that sound good, not to. Yeah, I think yeah. I only have uh, one piece just... of dubstep that I actually listen to. Yeah, just ones that have like some sort of a beat in them. I'm fine with them. Uh, nothing too stretched or freaking random. Uh, I'm not even a big fan of Skrillex either, so I don't even want to go there. But my genre of it would be mostly rock and uh, game soundtracks, if that's a genre. <laughs> not many, just the ones I prefer. And of course, tiny bit of dubstep, nothing too aggressive. Uh, how long have we? How long have we been talking for? Uh, I don't know because it doesn't even say. <laughs> oh God! It, it would it would be all right if it, it actually had a timer on it. Hmm. But uh, I think we've I think we've talked about a load of things. Yeah. Uh, so I think uh, I think we should end this episode of the. Aye. So of we li- can a lapis chat for now. Aye. First episode of lapis chat. Amazing. Mm. Hi, so I hope you've all enjoyed listening to what we've had to offer. <laughs> uh, hope, well, if this gets a lot of likes, a lot, a lot of views, and some decent comments, then we'll do more for you. Like he's just trying to whore himself out of comments. Why not? Just why not? Uh, because, hey, if they like this, then we'll do more. If they don't, then... We'll what? still do more. Oh, now you unlock your mic, Lewis. Ashamed. Shameful. Go back Go back to the fucking pen now. Go back to the minion pen. You don't even deserve. <laughs> you don't even deserve. Anyway. Uh... Oh, yeah. See you all soon. Goodbye. Yeah, see ya.